morning so we're heading up into the uh, uh, it's a kind of midway region between the Amazon jungle and the high Andes it's subtropical uh, it's um, not too hot not too many mosquitoes but it's very wild uh, it's pretty dangerous uh, it's just the two of us um, it's Alejandro up ahead so we're here with Alejandro Hello. in the middle of nowhere having some fun as usual and um, yeah, I've decided to uh, bring my trusty steed just in case. Um, this is not uh, exactly um, the place where you want to find a Jaguar, well, jumping on your neck really. Um, so yeah, we're, it's remote, it's extremely remote, no cell phone coverage whatsoever. Um, but uh, hey, that's where the adventure begins. So we'll see, we'll see uh, what we find. We're also gonna have a look, see if we can find any mineral deposits. You never know, uh, the area has been known to produce gold as well, so we'll have a look. Uh, animals in the bushes um, they can probably see us and we can't see them it's good fun this <laughs> So we've just found um, some Jaguar footprints, here we go. These are very fresh. These are from today. It's come down probably to drink from this stream. So that's our uh, first sign of Jaguars. So uh, quite exciting really, here we go again. There's another one. Jaguar footprint there. So uh, we have to keep our eyes open here. And you really don't want to be caught by surprise by a Jaguar. So we found a couple. Look at the size of these. So this one's from yesterday probably. But this one here. That's really fresh. And that is from today. Looks like it's an animal crossing. Quite a few. Could be two. Keep on going. Just uh, hearing a woodpecker up in the uh, trees but it's uh, it's 
It's mission impossible to try and see it. So we um, decided to uh, try and exploit one of the uh, little springs here that we found. Um, two reasons, to give the animals a kind of a more of a specific drinking area rather than trying to lap water from, you know, just a half a centimetre of water that flows down the stream. Um, so they can have a little drinking pond here and uh, in the worst case scenario also uh, do for us as well. So. Um, yeah, just dug this little hole and uh, it's already been able to settle. You can see the, the way the water is coming out of the uh, hillside there. So, um, yeah, this will be uh, full within the hour. Meanwhile, we'll go and uh, head up a bit further up and see what we can find. Okay, so this is a, a very small kind of bee um, that uh, has a really uh, sweet honey. And uh, just take a look at these. This is the entrance to the hive. So. Uh, the likelihood is that this uh, entire tree branch is uh, hollow. It's an orchid, beautiful orchid about to flower here as well. Air ferns. Beautiful. Butterfly. We're following this trail of a Jaguar footprints um, up this gully. Um, we get a rough idea of their habitat and their habits. Um, but uh, yeah, here we go. So um, <laughs> now look at the size of that. That's a pretty big cat. But here, I mean, I mean, that's a cub. Tiene cachor. Yeah. There's a cub prince. And here's the mother. Which means we've got a mother and a cub, which is extremely dangerous. Let's have a look here. There we go. It's the mother, and there's the cub. It's about the size of my cat. There you go, another example. Mother and cub, perfect example there. Wow. So we're finding several jaguar prints, um, and it uh, looks like it's got a cub as well, which uh, is great if we could see them, but it also makes them extremely dangerous. Uh, the mother will defend a cub no matter what so uh, we really have to be careful this looks like a cave have a quick look Looks like we've got a lot of uh, a lot of uh, paw prints just here. Um, let's see what we can find. It's 
keeping an eye out. Hmm. Doesn't particularly look like um, there's any animal that has been resting there, but uh, yeah, I'll keep looking. The uh, little bit of metal detecting. The great thing about this is there's no contamination whatsoever. Just completely clean uh, riverbed. Yeah, amazing rock face. Getting a lot of iron, but uh, it's not much else. What's that? Completely clean. Take a look at our beautiful little jagged footprints. So um, we've uh, just climbed up out of the valley floor um, and uh, we're just kind of looking at this uh, side gully which is very steep, uh, pretty tough rock. Uh, there's a little bit of water here, so um, we're going to give it a little go, see if we can find something in the pan. It would be kind of surprising if we do, but hey, that's what we brought the pan out here for, so might as well give it a shot. <laughs> Um, it's not much here but um, there's a bit of a black sand Esto sería buen lugar para muy That's a bit nasty. My poor cat. Oh my goodness. This is quite a tough climb. Let's go. Good thing I had my porridge oats this morning. Oh, me. oh my goodness. Take a look at this. Oh, 
Look at that gigantic cliff face. Goodness me. That is huge. Oh, what a guy. Yeah, let's go this way. So we've um, we've kind of decided to do something pretty dumb, but um, you know we're two guys. We like the wild, and we're going to try and get up there. But we're trying to find the way up. This is not quite as easy as it looks. This is like a 60 degree slope. I'm going to put my cell phone away because I'm going to need all hands and all feet. My goodness, look at this. <laughs> Incredible landscape, goodness me. This is really tough climbing. Keep going. And take a look at this amazing view. Crazy. Uh, we've only just started. We're gonna try and head up there. <laughs> so to give you an idea of the slope, that's what we're looking at. Yeah, so um, it got as high as I'm going to get right now. Uh, it's uh, it's really crumbly. This rock is just uh, just coming apart. Um, you know, in the, as you touch it, so it looks firm, but it's certainly not. And um, yeah, there's uh, quite a long way down. So this is where I'm at, the highest point, and. Uh, my feet are on a rather crumbly ledge, so um, it's not really uh, what I want to do. So I'm going back the way I came and uh, we'll head down into the bottom of the valley again. Spectacular views. So I'm just going to try. Um, one more uh, attempt at uh, doing a pan uh, here. Just gonna um, dig a bit of uh, a bit of a hole so we can collect a bit of water so we can do the pan. Um, so yeah, that's what we're gonna do.
come across uh, well this is a, a, a basically sign of the uh, Tukumari, the, the small um, bear that lives, well I say small, it stands on its feet and it's about two meters tall so it's not that small um, but it lives in this region and uh, it's the kind of thing that it does, it breaks open trunks, two tree trunks and tries to find uh, termites um, so we're in uh, Tukumari territory um, but uh, they're extremely shy, very difficult to come across. So here's our little dam that we made earlier. Um, it's just dammed up the spring a little bit and uh, it's worked pretty good. Okay, we're going to be uh, heading back now. Um, sun's uh, on its way down so um, it's been uh, quite a, a cool trip um, the, uh, the scenery is amazing and uh, yeah it's um, it's got a lot of uh, wildlife uh, obviously catch it on camera is very difficult we have to set up a hide or something like that um, but uh, uh, we found evidence of the uh, jaguars um, and they got cubs, there seem to be two different cubs, slightly different size um, prints and um, we're pretty sure there are two different sizes of adults as well so um, it's really nice to see that. Um, we've seen indirect evidence of the, uh, the bears as well called the tukumari um, so um, yeah, we've, we've seen uh, loads of uh, eagles, vultures, um, falcon, uh, so it's a lot of uh, um, wildlife here, quite, a, quite an amazing place actually. We, um, we also had a go with the uh, a bit of panning. Um, we did uh, a bit of metal detecting as well. Uh, the soil is uh, well, the rocks basically are very heavily mineralized, lots of iron. Um, so you get a lot of kind of false signals, um, but uh, we didn't find anything in the area that we scanned anyway. Um, of much value um, however uh, uh, with the panning we found a lot of um, uh, black sand and um, I've decided to take some samples home because the, uh, the water that I was using uh, to pan uh, was uh, very uh, um, well had a lot of clay in it so it's making it impossible to see so I'm going to take it back home and uh, give it a Give it a quick look and uh, just to see if we find anything uh, would be interesting. Mm -hmm. 